Hello, I'm here to discuss degenerative disc disease, what it is, and what you may be able to do it to improve your symptoms if you are experiencing pain from degenerative disc disease. So what is degenerative disc disease? Degenerative disc disease is along the lines of a degenerative joint disease or an osteoarthritis of the spine. Um, so in, in each spinal segment, there are discs or shock absorbers that reduce the tension between the spine with activity, movement, and pressure. Over time, with normal aging, wear and tear, and activity, these discs may become smaller and um, lose their integrity and ability to absorb that shock. Degenerative joint disease may develop anywhere in the body, but degenerative disc disease is particular to the spine. Um, the most common areas of developing degenerative disc disease within the spine is the lumbar spine, or the low back, and the cervical spine, or the neck. So pain associated with degenerative disc disease may be described as dull or aching and is usually localized around the joint segments that are affected. Um, pain is commonly aggravated with prolonged sitting um, and can also be aggravated with prolonged standing, especially in hard surfaces, bending, twisting, or performing some activities that you're not used to um, for an extended period of time. So how do you treat degenerative disc disease? There is no cure and no way to reverse degenerative disc disease, but there are many great options for individuals experiencing some type of spinal pain. Um, generally, weight loss, core strengthening, postural assessments, and quitting smoking are great first steps in reducing pain levels that are related to degenerative disc disease. Um, in, in addition, implementing active rest activities such as balancing your activities throughout the day with resting and also setting alarms to increase how much you're walking around your house versus sitting are also really great options to improve your spinal pain. But actually most degenerative discs of the spine do not cause significant back pain in individuals with degenerative disc disease. And oftentimes, people who have degenerative disc disease may have no pain at all. Um, there was a high quality research study done in 2014 that found that the prevalence of disc degeneration in asymptomatic individuals or people who have no pain um, increased from 37% in 20 year olds to 96% in 80 year olds. So that means that in 80-something-year-olds who don't have any pain in the back, 96% of those did have degenerative disc disease findings on their imaging. So that's a really great news. That means that we have great options to try to improve your pain because maybe there are other contributing factors to your pain levels in your back or in your neck or other areas of the spine. So it's really important to discuss your options um, with your doctor and your physical therapist to determine an ideal and proper treatment for determining what is your own pain experience and how we are able to fix it.